The women's 400 meters T47 features the Paralympic champion Li Lu, the world champion Aruna Liebenberg, the Asia Oceania champion Lalwala Palia Guranes, and the new long jump world champion. On the outside in lane nine for Kenya, first major championship for Irene Tanui. Lane eight for Japan, bronze in the 400 meters in Rio, Sai Tsuji. Ninth of the 200 meters here in London, the fourth in the 400 in Rio for Chile, Amanda Serna. Tenth in the 200 meters for India, Jayanti Behera. She's just finished seventh in the long jump. The reigning Asia Oceania champion for Sri Lanka, Amara Lalwala Palia Granats. The reigning world champion from South Africa, silver in the 200 meters here, Arune Liebenberg. The reigning Paralympic 400 meters champion, bronze in the 100 and the 200 here in London for China, Li Lu. And in lane two, the new, and I mean new, world long jump champion, Talea Williams, goes for a second gold in the space of five minutes. No Unidas Castillo here. Liebenberg, the world champion. Lee Lu, the Paralympic champion. So Williams in two, Lee Lu three, Liebenberg four, Lalwala Palio Granans in five, Pekara six, Serna seven, Suji eight, Tanui nine, the final of the women's 400 meters, T47. They're away, Lalawala left to the blocks a little bit, the world champion Lieberberg away well, and the Paralympic champion Lee Lu also. Williams, the new long jump champion, struggling in the inside, trying to fight back from lane two, but Lieberberg has started well. Lee Lu also. Su Ji going excellently for Japan in lane eight, in the second from outside lane. But here goes Lieberberg for South Africa, Way out in front at the halfway mark. Silver in the 200 meters here. And looking very good in the 400. They hit the closing straight. It's between the defending world champion Lehman Bay and the Paralympic champion Lee Lu. And Lee Lu's closing in. Lehman Bay's in trouble. Lehman Bay's in big trouble. It's Lee Lu for China. The Paralympic champion Lee Lu is going to take it. 57. 23, Lieberberg with the silver, Suji the bronze, Serna in fourth place, Williams, the long jump champion, might have got fifth, but what a finish for Lee Lu, the Paralympic champion, gets her first world title, and the defending world champion is dethroned right at the end. Yeah, well, with 150 to go, Lee Lu was absolutely nowhere, and Lieberberg had it all all wrapped up and then just tightened up with that about 50 to go and Lee Lu came out of nowhere. Well it's like something Suji gets the bronze but in a way it's reminiscent of one of the coordination impairment categories where an athlete can tie up remarkably quickly in the closing stages. It's what's happened to Liebenberg here she does seem content with silver Li Lu has the gold. Her third medal here. Bronze is in the one and two. Gold in the four. Liebenberg away well. Li Lu also on her inside. Flying start from Tsai 2G of Japan in lane eight. Able bodied handball player as well.
Bronze in the 400 in Rio. She set up brilliantly, but this is where Liebenberg came up very strong. And you might wonder, with what was to happen, did she go too strong in the first half? Yeah, I think so. Like, if you see, with it, with about 200 to go here, I was watching it, and Lee Lu, I thought that she was a chance, but then you just sort of look at Liebenberg here, and she's just so far ahead. That inside lane as well, you got to, you can't discount that, but Lee Lu was a fair way off as they come with this home straight to go, and then put the foot down, and um, she was like a, like a ran up a drain pipe, went uh, extremely fast down that home straight, very, very fast. And Liebenberg really tying up and struggling at this stage, and Lee Lu got her chance. She saw the opening, shot past the South African, dethroned, losing her world title, and Lee Lu adds the world crowd to the Paralympic one. Lifetime best for her as well, with Liebenberg second, Sai Tuji took third. Cerner fourth and Talea Williams did indeed finish in fifth place. Liebenberg just knew that there was nothing left. Talea Williams somehow still with something in reserve. She came up from eighth to fifth very quickly, but Lee Lu is the new world champion. Look at the relief on her face. She's just finished that 400 and uh, to, it goes from pain to... Uh, At this stage, she must have thought it was gone, but then with Liebenberg slowing up, belief again, acceleration, the adrenaline kicking in, and Lee Lu, who at one stage, you're taught to never think that it's gone, but she saw a chance when it looked lost. Lee Lu wins the gold. Lifetime best, 57.23. Liebenberg, the silver for South Africa, and Sai Tuji, the bronze for Japan. Honorable mention.